All right, welcome to another video by Lane Creations Log Analysis Made Easy, where we're going to cover Sysmon, also known as System, System Internals. It is software now completely supported by Microsoft, and it is a way of improving upon the logs. If you've ever gone through Microsoft event logs, you know that the numbers are a little confusing the way they're organized. In my way, a really easy way to describe Sysmon is just the ability to uh, collaborate the logs into uh, a little more easier format. It puts them into uh, capabilities that, uh, like all the logs that are dealing with uh, login events, sys uh, processes, they're all kind of categorized together. And so it just makes going through the logs a lot easier. It, they, they help enrich the logs that are already there with your system event logs. That's why we have them. You'll hear them often by security professionals. They want Sysmon. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to sh demo a few different ways to install Sysmon. Very first option is we're going to come in here and I'm actually going to go right to my marketplace. And when I'm there, I'm going to type in Sysmon. It comes back Sys Internal Suite. If I go ahead and hit Get, it will download it for me. Now, what you'll want when you download Sysmon, in and of itself, is not going to do what you need. You have to go buy, a, you have, not buy, you have to go download a config, set up a config setting. One of the most famous uh, settings is Swift on security. I, I'm, I'm good with what they do, uh, but they also have some good guidance on what you can do for other stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to come download uh, this here. So we're going to come grab, copy to the clipboard. We're going to go download the zip. This will give us Sysmon Config Master. What I really need is this export.xml file. If I come look at it, we can actually see from the downloads. We'll go ahead and look at this little XML file. It's basically all the configurations for what it's going to uh, what it's going to be log logging. So there's a lot of customization there. It's all XML and you can build your own config or you can go grab somebody else's. I'm good with grabbing theirs. We're good to go there. Oops, not email. Back to the market, still downloading. So let's go ahead and get this extracted out. We shall extract all. We're going to just go put this right into my C colon. Make a new folder called temp. And we'll just put it in there. All right, system, internal, system internals are done. And we're good to go. So if we follow the instructions off the Microsoft page, or we can just come in here, we're just going to basically do sysmon.exe. This one says you sysmon except EULA, and then you use point to the XML file. You just download it and make sure they're in the same folder. If you follow the instructions here, they'll tell you similar concept, but they'll call sysmon except EULA and wherever the config file is. So, Let's go ahead and make sure this works. I'm going to open up a terminal. I'm going to run as administrator. OK, there should be my Sysmon config master. OK. So we can see it listed right there, and we're just going to go sysmon except eula minus i, and then we're just going to point it to sysmon config config export.xml. And just like that, sysmon's up and running. 
Now I'm going to revert this VM so that I can do this again this time if you don't have the Windows Store, which you may not, depending upon your setup, we'll show how to do it again. Okay, I have reverted my Sysmon back, and we can see that by the fact I don't have it anymore. So if I go Sys Internals, Sysmon, the Sysmon and the Sys Internal Suites is going to ask if I want to install them again. I'm not going to go that route. We're going to go instructions here, which I can just go download Sysmon. I need to download Swift on security again because I don't have it since I reverted. So I'm now going to open those two files. We're going to extract, put it in C drive. Make a new folder, temp, drop it in there, and then we'll run that extract all. All right. Let's just do the exact same thing twice. Okay, so there's my Sysmon. Now I come in here. I'm going to grab this export. I'm going to copy it, put it so it's in the same location as my Sysmon command. Now we'll go back to terminal. Command prompt, run as admin. CD, and then we're going to go into temp. We can see the sysmon command. We want to just make sure we run that exactly the way it says. sysmon.exe dash except eula minus i sysmon config export.xml just like that sysmon's up and running now we'll demo what those logs look like okay we're going to come in here we're going to do event viewer applications and service logs So let's just make that full. We'll come down to Microsoft, Windows, Sysmon. If I look at the operational, here's a bunch of informational logs that have fired. And we can see Sysmon logs are there. Uh, now that we've gone and covered how to get the Sysmon logs, we've shown how to download them with the App Store. We've shown how to download them directly from Microsoft. All those links will be listed down below, so please feel free if you don't if you don't don't have to try to record them, just grab them from the comments down below, the description down below. And I hope this was helpful in helping you understand how to install Sysmon and find those Sysmon logs on your system. This will be part of a playlist. If you want to get these logs into Splunk or you want to put Sysmon on Linux, uh, please keep following this playlist and uh, keep watching the videos. Hope they hope you keep coming back. And if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, join the channel, love your support. Thanks so much for watching this video.